In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some overhead welding practice that I did. Now, the only reason I'm doing this is because the last practice video that I made seemed to go over so well with you guys, so I thought I'd show you guys another one. Just take you guys along for the ride a little bit. Now, the setup I have is just as janky as the last video that I made practicing out of position. <clears throat> I have pieces tacked to pieces, tacked to pieces. It's really wobbly and I wouldn't be surprised if it fell on me at some point. We're gonna move on and push past the fact that this is kind of redneck. So I'm just trying to run a bead with both rods in this video. I'm not trying to do anything special with anything. 7018, I'm not really trying to weave. It doesn't really need it. But the 6011, I'm not trying to make any whip and pause motion or anything like that. I'm just merely trying to run a straight bead. This is really only my second real time doing overhead welding and I'd like to get better at it just so I can prepare for maybe the eventuality. Maybe I have some work that I need to do sometime and it's just got me in the overhead position. I just can't position the part the way I'd like. So I'm starting off here with the 6011. Like I said, I'm just trying to keep it in a straight line and run it in as straight of a line as I possibly can. Now the welds did turn out all right. You'll have to take my word for it as I forgot to film them. They turned out okay, as good as I think I can do for my second time welding overhead and my first time welding overhead with 6011. You know, 6011 welds, they just don't look good in general. They're not pretty. They're not meant to be pretty. You're, you're, they're not meant to be pretty. If you're gonna weld with 6011 usually, or if you're gonna, they're not meant to be pretty. If you're gonna weld with 6011 or 6010, you're usually gonna just cover it up with like 7018 or something like that. Speaking of 7018, let's move on to that. Pretty self-explanatory. I'm just still trying to run in the straight line. However, since 7018 is not a fast freezing rod like 6011 is, I am paying much closer attention to the puddle and my rod angle, trying to keep it as straight up and down as I possibly can just to keep the puddle from falling out on me and onto me physically, because that would hurt and I really don't want that. Again, the 7018 welds look as good as I think I can make them do for now with my limited skill set and my limited knowledge of overhead welding. However, experience and experience comes with practice, so I just need to do this more. I'm really enjoying welding overhead. It's a bit of a pain, it's a little bit uncomfortable, but it's really good practice and it's just it's just different. For me, it feels like I'm welding in a different world welding overhead than in the flat position. And I like that, it throws a little bit of change into the mix, which isn't bad and I enjoy that. Anyways, I know this video was short and a little short on some details, but I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. I do try to keep my videos as short as possible, so I'll try and keep this outro as short as possible. If you like the video, please consider leaving a like. If you wanna see more like this, maybe you can consider subscribing. Anyways, that's all from me and I'll see you guys next week. I don't know what you want. Let's have a bit of fun. Don't say you're